Look at this one. Gentlemen, adequate notice of this January the 28th, 2016 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by posting written notice and agenda of the meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building at 1000 Route 10, Township of Hanover, and by hand delivering, mailing, or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Morris County's Daily Record, the Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. Have a roll call, please. On roll call, Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man Faramaska. Here. Committee Man Bruno. Here. Committee Man Coppola is excused. He's out sick with a bad cold. And Mayor Francioli. Here. Five members in, four members in attendance, sir. Okay. Gentlemen, would you all please rise and join me in a pledge of allegiance to the flag? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, at this time, a motion to open to the public so for any items not appearing on the second. agenda. Motion and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. Anyone who would like to address the Township Committee at this time can do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Seeing none. Dick, I don't motion see any. Motion to close. Seeing none. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Mr. Administrator. Okay, Mayor, members of the committee, we have mm -hmm. the approval of the Township Committee regular minutes of January 14th. May we have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Um, Bruno, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved. We have the following departmental reports available for public inspection and on our file in the Office of the Business Administrator Township Clerk. <coughs> they include the uh, report of the construction official on all construction permits and certificates of occupancy issued during the month of December. We have the report of the property maintenance officer on all of her activities during the month of January through today. We have uh, two reports from the township engineer. His engineering reports dated January 14th and his status report dated today, January 28th. So now, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with the agenda, we have uh, two ordinances for consideration of adoption and public <coughs> hearing. Uh, we have ordinance number 1-2016. This establishes the Stony Brook Community Farm and Garden Advisory Committee and sets forth the duties and responsibilities of the advisory committee. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the January 20th issue of the Daily Record. So at this time, may we have a motion to conduct Motion to conduct the hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And is there anyone in chambers wishing to be heard concerning ordinance number 1-2016? <coughs> motion, motion to close. Motion to close. Seeing none, hearing none, we have a motion to close the public hearing. On roll call to close the public hearing. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosca. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now on adoption, be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, establishing the Stony Brook Community Farm and Garden Advisory Committee, and setting forth the duties and responsibilities of the Advisory Committee, be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the February 3rd issue of the Daily Record. May we now have a motion on adoption. So moved. Second. Second on roll call for adoption. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Mr. George Hill. Yes, <clears throat> sir. Um, I, I just want to make sure that everybody understands what this is. This is an illustration of great things happening in Hanover. <clears throat> That's the motto of the town. This is truly a great thing. This is going to help our residents. This is really going to help those in great need uh, because much of, of the, um, the produce coming from this community farm will be donated for those in need. And I want to acknowledge the efforts of the mayor who worked very closely uh, with many different constituencies in Morris County uh, to make this happen. For that, we, members of the Township Committee, we thank him. Thanks, John. Uh, uh, special thanks to uh, Barbara Davis. Uh, Morris County Land Conservancy, and uh, as well as the Interfaith Food Pantry for their contributions and assisting us along. This uh, 
is a new uh, undertaking. It'll be chaired by uh, uh, Dick Kitchell, and uh, he's taken on the chairmanship of this, and uh, we're hopeful to uh, get this uh, improvement done for the lands that we're going to use on Stony Brook uh, in 2016, and very, very hopeful that by 2015 it'll be suitable for planting and for the garden to begin. So I think it'll be a wonderful effort. So thank you on that. Okay, Joe. As we continue, uh, item D, ordinance number 2-2016, authorizing the acquisition of 127 Reynolds Avenue, which is part of the B Meadow Greenway Phase 3. Mm -hmm. This property is designated as Lot 4 and Block 8401 is set forth on the tax map of the Township of Hanover. And the ordinance further appropriates the sum of $382,500 from uh, three sources to fund the acquisition of the property. And that includes uh, the following funding, $165,000 from a 2015 Morris County Open Space Trust Fund grant, $135,000 from the NJDP Green Acres Program Planning Incentive Grant, and $82,500 from the Township's Open Space Trust account. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the January 20th issue of the Daily Record. So at this time, may we now have a motion to convene the public hearing. So moved. Motion second. by Mr. Bruno, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call for the public hearing, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramoska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye and Mr. Francioli. Aye. Is there anyone present in chambers wishing to be heard concerning ordinance number 2-2016? Okay. Seeing Close. none, hearing none, we have a motion by Mr. Bruno to close the public hearing. Second. Second by Mr. Faramoska on roll call. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramoska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now on adoption. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover authorizing the acquisition of 127 Reynolds Avenue, which is part of the B Meadow uh, Greenway Phase 3, and designated as Lot 4 and Block 8401, as set forth on the tax map of the Township of Hanover, and further appropriating the sum of $382,500 from various sources for the purchase of the property be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the February 3rd issue of the Morris County Daily Record. Now at this time, may we have a motion on adoption? So moved. We have a motion, second on roll call. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermoska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So adopted. Okay. So poor two uh, interesting facts about this piece of land. Uh, number one, it is contiguous with our B Meadow Park, so it'll be an expansion of the B Meadow Park as it fronts on uh, Reynolds. And uh, that's uh, uh, very important to us. But just as important uh, is, uh, as I explained to the Morris County uh, uh, Farmland Preservation Team who awarded us our grant as well, this is a piece of developed land that we're acquiring to return to open space where it will remain in perpetuity. So it's, it's a different concept for, for we townships in this eastern portion of Morris County uh, who are looking for more open space and lands. The way we do it now is to acquire those developed lands and then return them to open space. So our thanks to uh, Morris County for understanding that as well. Thank you, Joe. Okay, you're welcome, man. All right, next uh, we have two ordinances for introduction with the same public hearing date of Thursday, February 11th at 8.30 p.m. And at that time, both these ordinances, ordinance number 4-2016 and 5-2016, uh, will be listed for public hearing and uh, final reading. And as I said, at that time, any person wishing to be heard con concerning either ordinance will be given an opportunity to speak. And the ordinances are ordinance 4-2016, an ordinance of the Township Committee amending and supplementing section 125-4 entitled raffle licensing fees and section 125-4 entitled recreation department fees under chapter 125 of the Code of the Township entitled fees with the inclusion of new resident and non-resident pool membership fees for the year 2016 B Meadow Pool season as well as other recreation department fees. Ordinance number 5-2016 is an ordinance authorizing the execution 
of a lease agreement with the Hanover Township Little League Incorporated for the operation of the Blackbrook Park concession stand commencing on opening day April 23rd through August 31st, 2016. And once again, both ordinances will be heard for public hearing and final passage on the 11th of, uh, the, uh, the 11th of February. Both ordinances and the notices of introduction will be published in full in the daily record in accordance with law. May we now have a motion for both ordinance for 2016 and five days so 2016. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Bruno, seconded by Mr. Fermasca on both ordinances as a consent agenda. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermasca. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Franciola. Aye. So introduced. Now we have resolutions as a consent agenda. We only have two resolutions which appear on the flip side of your agenda. Are there any questions from members of the Township Committee <coughs> concerning either resolution? Move they be approved. We have Sorry. a motion by Mr. Fermasca, seconded by Mr. Gallagher on roll call for approval of the resolution consent agenda. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermasca. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So approved. Raffle applications also as a consent agenda. Raffle application 2904. Seton Hall Prep Mother's Auxiliary, an off-premise raffle, and raffle application 2905, Rotary Club of Hanover, for an off-premise raffle. May we have a motion, motion for approval. Motion, so approval. motion by Mr. Bruno, seconded by Mr. Franzioli. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermas. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So approved. Mr. Chairman, members of the Township Committee, that clears the agenda of the Administrator Township Clerk, and I thank you. Thank you, Joe. Uh, at this time, gentlemen, once again, I'd like to open the floor, so motion to open. So moved. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the floor is open. If you'd like to address the Township Committee from the podium, you may do so, giving us your name and address for the record. Seeing none, hearing none, motion to close. So moved. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Gentlemen, any other business from the committee? Bob? Nothing for me this evening. <clears throat> okay. I've got two Anything uh, down? quick announcements. Go ahead. Uh, number one, last call for pet licenses, early registration. As we all know, you have until the end of this month, not many days left there, to register your pet. Um, subsequently, if you fail to register your pet by the end of the <clears throat> month, you will be subjected to an additional licensing fee. So do the right thing, register your pet, save a few dollars by doing it this month. Second issue, it's all about public safety and it's all about snowmageddon. We all had a very difficult time last weekend. Would you call with this? 33 inches of the white stuff in parts of this township. Um, DPW did a fantastic job in addressing it. Public safety did a fantastic job in addressing it. And I'm making an appeal for public safety measures in that if there's a hydrant outside of your home or nearby your home and you're able-bodied individual that can clean that hydrant out and if it hasn't been cleaned, please clean it out. Make it accessible. The second one is storm sewers. The storm sewers are meant to take away large amounts of water. If it gets warm with all of that snow melting, there could be significant damming of water. So if there's a storm sewer that's nearby your home, again, and if you can open that up a little bit so it can accept the water, that would be beneficial to uh, the area in which you live. Mayor, that concludes my public safety message. Thank you, John. Jim. Absolutely. Base. I just want to acknowledge uh, the DPW on the way they handled this last storm. I was in touch with Brian Ferran for almost 27 and a half straight hours. <laughs> He actually texted me at 2.40 a.m. to ask me how I was making out. I was at FDU. Two minutes later, I posted on Facebook, the Hanover Township DPW still out in full force working hard, and believe it or not, at 2.42, people are responding to it. So I, I know what these guys did. At 27 and a half hours, I was driving home. I was exhausted, and they weren't even tired yet. So these guys were great. They did a good job. They did a great job cleaning up. Once again, Hanover Township PD was all over the place all the time. Fantastic. Great example of what Hanover Township is all about. 
And the last thing I would say about the storm, what John said too, we all share different things on Facebook. It's very important to shovel out your fire hydrant because it's not just the fire hydrant for your house. It's the fire hydrant for, typically for many houses in that area. And some people have told me they can't find it. And I said, well, what if the men can't find it at 1.30 in the morning? <laughs> so whatever it takes, even grab a couple of whippersnappers and say, hey, go find that fire hydrant. That would be helpful to us and the fire department. <laughs> the last thing I want to say is tomorrow night is week four for Hanover Township Youth Takeover Men in Arena. The mayor yeah, was there great. with me last week. I'm going to bring my ice skates next time. <laughs> If you bring yours, I'll bring mine. You got it. But uh, you got we, it. we've had nice crowds up there. A lot of people are coming out. On February 12th, we're going to have two events at one time. Sharon's Studio of Dance and Music is going to be having a fun night here. They're bringing their break dancers. They're bringing their older girls to dance with our younger girls. It's going to be a good night. And the one thing I said at the Rotary this morning that was pretty funny is I like a lot of political... Um, the axioms and the one I always thought was pretty clever was when Bill Clinton referred to the bridge to the 21st century well with the wreck and the substance awareness council it seems like we're trying to create a bridge to the springtime and we're <laughs> keeping these kids busy Ron and once we get done with our eight-week stint at Menard Arena it'll be the springtime and then we have yeah. baseball and then we can start to have Bob tell us about when the pool is going to be opening that's so great. that's everything for me thanks that's great. That, the Menon program, by the way, tremendous success. I mean, having witnessed it myself, uh, showed up there, uh, just dozens and dozens of uh, youngsters having a great time on the ice. And uh, Total it was 76. 76, was it? 76. Fantastic. 76. And uh, it just, uh, it was just uh, uh, very, very uh, fulfilling to sit there and uh, watch the kids enjoying themselves on uh, on that Saturday night. So that was great. Uh, appreciate it. Um, punctuate the comment from Deputy Mayor uh, Faramoska on the snow. Uh, not only did our DPW do uh, a continuation of plowing 30-something 30, 30 odd street hours on, on our streets and, and got them clear. And by the way, I've heard from other uh, people traveling to other municipalities that said Hanover was a blessing and, and we do thank them for an absolutely wonderful job. But uh, right after that, they got home, watched the, uh, uh, watched the, uh, the, the Panthers and then watched uh, Denver and then they were back out again. Uh, opening up uh, the intersections uh, for uh, all of our uh, our uh, corner critical corners for buses, etc. So, uh, Brian and the group, you guys did a yeoman job, fantastic, and we do appreciate it. The whole town appreciates it. Uh, sub note for our neighbors: uh, got a lot of calls, had a lot of concerns. You probably read a lot about it on Facebook on uh, sidewalk clearing, and most of our people were very, very concerned on the enforcement that we would within. Uh, short period of time uh, issue fines for sidewalks. We have uh, explained to, as best we can to the community uh, that this was a tremendous storm and that we relieved uh, you of uh, the immediacy of uh, having to clean your sidewalks. But that does not mean we relieved you from cleaning your sidewalks. So do make preparation if you have not already. Uh, I know we have a lot of snowbirds, a lot of people away, etc. cetera. Uh, you should have made that preparation before leaving for storms of this nature. Uh, to have the sidewalks cleaned and uh, we uh, ask your cooperation uh, we're trying to work with you and uh, but sidewalks for the safety of our school-age children and pedestrians that have to walk must be cleaned at some point so thank you for that uh, anything else from the uh, committee at this time motion motion to close motion to close that portion of the Second. motion to adjourn <clears throat> motion to adjourn all in favor aye, aye. aye. adjourn good. good job mr mayor Excellent, guys. What's the record? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh